Basketball fans, do you think you know everything about the game of basketball? If you do, think again. Today, we're going to be going over 10 fun facts that you probably didn't know about professional basketball. Hello there and welcome back to another video, you lovely people. Thank you so much for stopping by. You are absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel and you enjoy everything NBA related, subscribe with those notifications on. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Short guys can play basketball too. At just 5 foot 3 inches, Muggsy Bogues made it to the big league and gathered quite a following. As the smallest player to ever play in the professional league, Muggsy made a name for himself as a great ball handler, a defensive threat, and a playmaker. He wasn't known for his scoring though. Throughout a 14 year career in the pros, he managed just 3 seasons with a double digit scoring average. Regardless of his scoring, Muggsy is living proof that even shorter guys with hoop dreams can make it. The longest professional basketball game lasted 78 minutes after a record six overtimes. A regular game generally lasts 48 minutes, so this was more like a gauntlet. This game took place on January 6, 1951 between the Indianapolis Olympians and the Rochester Royals. For being such a long game, it was a very low scoring one, ending at 75-73 to in favor of the Olympians. After that season ended, the league added the 24 second shot clock to encourage more scoring and push the pace of the games. Jose Calderon is the reason that they call the free throw line the charity stripe. This guy made a staggering 98.1% of his free throw attempts during the 2008-9 season. He sunk a whopping 151 shots and missed just 3 attempts. Absolutely impressive stats. In a December 29, 1997 game against the Chicago Bulls, Bubba Wells of the Dallas Mavericks managed to foul out of the game in just three minutes. His efforts earned him a spot as the player with the quickest disqualification due to fouls in a regular season game. His disqualification was part of a strategy designed by his coach to limit the Chicago Bulls offense. He was instructed to foul Dennis Rodman, a player known for his poor free throw shooting ability, and put him on the free throw line as much as possible. Out of all the records you can set in professional basketball, I am not sure that you would want to have this one. But hey, even bad publicity is good publicity, I guess. At 7 feet tall and over 300 pounds, Shaquille O'Neal is an imposing figure and was a very dominant center in professional basketball. But did you know that he also trains in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? Yep, that is right. He's got more than just Shaq Fu under his belt. You can find footage of him training with mixed martial artists like Nate Diaz and even Royce Gracie. Wilt the Stilt Chamberlain was one of the most dominant and high scoring players in the game. The Philadelphia Warriors squared off against the New York Knicks in the Hershey Sports Arena on March 2, 1962. During that game, Wilt logged an explosive performance that would result in the record for the highest amount of points scored by any player in a single game. The Warriors triumphed over the Knicks in a 169 to 147 win, and Wilt Chamberlain finished with a total of 100 points. Carmelo Anthony was cut from his high school team, and he is one of the top scoring leaders in professional basketball, so you wouldn't assume this would happen. He's been an all-star for multiple seasons, and coaches build teams around for a player like himself. He didn't have the same success throughout high school, though. His high school coach thought he was a little too vertically challenged to play on the team. After a growth spurt, he transferred to Oak Hill Academy and became well-known as a solid player. We all like to talk about record-breaking performances and amazing displays of athleticism and skill, but let's talk about Dirk Fisher and his game with the Lakers at the Rockets for a moment. Dirk Fisher spent 35 of 48 minutes on the court and managed to do just about nothing, which some people can say is an impressive feat in itself, considering that these are professionals. Dirk recorded 0 points, 0 assists, and 0 rebounds throughout the game. His redemption came towards the end of the game where he logged one steal that allowed the Lakers to run out the clock on the Rockets and edge out the victory. 
Ever wonder where Carl Malone earned the nickname The Mailman? The name was given to him in college by a sports writer covering his alma mater, Louisiana Tech, for delivering match-winning performances. Malone continued to live up to his name during his 19-year professional career. He made it to the playoffs during every season of his career and averaged an impressive 25 points per game throughout his career. He would go down as one of the greatest players in professional basketball. Michael Jordan, the man who is arguably the greatest basketball player of all time, did not make his varsity team as a sophomore at Emsley A. Laney High School. He was among a group of 50 students who tried out. At the time, he was 5'10 and could not dunk a basketball. The team needed the height, which he lacked, and Jordan did not make the cut. He admits that he went home, locked himself in his room, and cried. With something to prove, he played his heart out that year on the junior varsity team and put in multiple 40-point games while drawing large crowds, which were irregular for JV games. The next year, Jordan would make varsity and easily become the best player on the team. If this man's story doesn't inspire you, I have no idea what will. That's it for the video guys, hopefully you learned something new in this because I'm pretty sure a lot of people aren't exactly familiar with everything related to professional basketball. If you guys are new here and you enjoy these types of videos, slap a like on it and be sure to subscribe with those bell notifications on. That'd be awesome of you. Till next time, you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.